Hello, today I'm going to solve this clutch one puzzle by Jewish Shama. Even though it only has three pieces and looks not so special, this actually won the Jewelry Honorable Mention Award in the 2022 International Puzzle Party. Let's solve it together and see what makes it award worthy. I tried to buy it from the Wood Wonders website when it was first launched, but I missed the release and it was sold out very quickly. So this copy here is a 3D printed version I made from scratch. It is a tick or a turning interlocking cube, meaning during the solve some of or all of the pieces require some turning as opposed to bird puzzles where pieces only move up and down, left and right, front and back. The goal is to combine the three pieces so that it makes a cube and in this case a cube-like object. Anyway, let's start solving. I must say I have not solved many tick puzzles before, maybe less than five. But my strategy is to use the yellow piece as the anchor piece and figure out the final position of each piece relative to the yellow piece. For this brown piece, I believe it should be placed like this, but given its shape, it will require some turning and moving around. I think we know how it should be placed. For the pink piece, it is smaller and after a few moves, it can be placed into the yellow piece and reaching its final position, like this one. Now onto the sequence of pieces. With the brown piece being so big, the logical thinking is to first put it into the yellow piece to maximize room for maneuver before putting in the pink piece. Okay, with that sorted, now comes the real challenge. How to combine the pieces. With my tick experience, most of them have this type of structure where two pieces will be placed together here. However, for the brown piece to reach its end position, we actually have to flip it around and combine them like so. Once that is done, this can't be turned this way is anti-clockwise, but we have to find this angle where the brown piece is at an angle and this gap here, the brown piece can be turned into it. Once that is done, the brown piece can move slightly freer within the yellow piece. You can turn it this way and now it can fall into its final position. With that done, we will have to put the pink piece in and we have to move the brown piece like this to this position here. Then we can place the pink piece in like this way. Enter the pink piece. Now we have to turn the brown piece this way once, twice. Once we reach this position, we turn the brown piece the third time like this and move it to the right hand side. Here, now there is more room for the pink piece to move up to this position and down once. Now the brown piece can go back to the left and combine with the pink piece. Finally, done, solved. This is clutch one. And now you see why I say it's a cube-like structure but there are lots of empty holes around it. Well, I do appreciate the design of this puzzle. Only three pieces but a lot of turning and moves to combine them. Certainly not an easy puzzle. The only thing I wish it has is that the final structure can be a solid cube on each face, but then I guess the holes to add towards the difficulty by making the placement of the pieces less obvious. What do you think? Do you think it is an award-worthy puzzle? Let me know in the comments below. And that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.